Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we have seen how to find the inverse of a matrix. We are taken a two by two yesterday as an example. Uh, I have given this as a question to you. I hope you have the answer with me. I would like to take up once again determinant of a, adjoint of a, adjoint of adjoint of a. Be careful. First we take the adjoint and then we find the adjoint of that. Let us see what happens. Determinant day we calculate. We know how to calculate the determinant. I use the first row. 3 into 15 minus minus 1. That is minus 2 into 5 minus 4 plus 4 into minus 1 minus 12 and is, that is calculated to be minus 6. So determinant of A is calculated to be minus 6. Okay, Determinant A is minus 6. Now we have the adjoint of A. How to write the adjoint? I am not going for the cofactor matrix. I directly write the adjoint. If you want to directly write the adjoint, we find the cofactors of the row and write it in column wise. A factor of 3, that is A11, that is calculated here, year, 16, and that is to be the same here, capital A11. Further, a factor of 2, that is calculated to be 5 minus 4, that is minus 1, and that is written here. Remember, when you want to adjoin directly, we go on finding the cofactor is row wise, we find in column, write in column wise. A factor of 4 will come here, minus 13. Further, a factor of 1, that is 10 plus 4, 14, due to that plus position, you can see that minus, minus of 14, that comes, second row comes here, second column. Further, I take that of 3, a factor of 3, can you calculate? 15 minus 16, that is minus 1, plus, minus, plus, that plus comes here, you can see the change of signs. I further go for a factor of 1, that is 11, is here. Further, that the third row, a factor of 4, that is minus 10. A factor of minus 1 is 1, and a factor of 5 is 7. So I have the adjoint of A. I now want the adjoint of adjoint of A. We have the adjoint of A here. I want its adjoint. I again find the cofactors of each element in the row. I write in column wise. A factor of 16 is 7 minus 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 11. The minus 7 minus 11, that is minus 18. Minus 18 will come here. A factor of a factor of 14 will be a factor of minus 14 will be minus 7 plus 13. That is minus 7 plus 13 is 6. And due to the position, I have minus minus of that is minus 6 will be written here. Second row, I write here first row, I write first column. Further, a factor of minus 10 is minus 24. Further, find the cofactors of second row. I write as a second column. Cofactors of the third row. Calculation is very much here, you can see. Calculation and uh, cofactors of the third row is written as the third column. So this is a adjoint of adjoint of A. Now I am asking you to find any connection between A, adjoint of A, or adjoint of adjoint of A. Can some of you connect the, the given matrix and the adjoint of adjoint of A? It is six times of the matrix. Yes, exactly. Not exactly six times. Minus six times. Minus six, actually, what is minus six? It is the determinant. So what you observe is that it is determinant A into the previous matrix, matrix A. But it is not, it is only when it is 3 by 3. We have to remember this is not this. If it is 4 by 4, it will not be determinant of A. It is actually determinant A raised to N minus 2. Anyway, the proof is beyond the requirement, so you can keep in mind, adjoint of adjoint of A will be determinant raised to N minus 2 into A. 
I will write that as a result later. Now let us go for some results along with all this. In view of the discussion completed, we come across with the following very important result. Well, any doubt we can ask because this we have seen if A is a matrix, far matrix of order N, determinant of Ka, it is not modulus, determinant of Ka, it is not K determinant, eh? K raised to N, if it is 3 by 3, K cube will come. If it is 4 by 4, K raised to 4 will come. You have to remember it. Further, if A is non singular, A is invertible and A inverse will be. 1 by determinant A into at the end of the We have seen that. You have to remember this as a formula for A. Further, if A is non singular, then A in determinant of A inverse is the reciprocal of determinant of A. Can you tell me how it is? Simply because, because if A A inverse is identity matrix, determinant of A A inverse will be determinant of identity matrix, that is 1. Now, determinant of A inverse is determinant A into determinant A inverse because determinant of AB, we have seen as a result that determinant A into determinant B. So, determinant of A inverse is determinant A into determinant A inverse is 1. So, determinant of A inverse is 1 upon determinant of A. So, not 1, 2, 3. We go ahead further. Fourth. If A is a non singular square matrix of order N, the determinant of adjoint of A is determinant there is n minus 1. Can you tell me how? Simply, we know A into adjoint of A is determinant A into I. We have seen it earlier. If you take the determinant of both sides, determinant of A into adjoint of A is determinant A into I. Can some of you tell me what happens to the right side? What is the determinant of Determine A into I. Can any of you tell me what will be the right side? Om? Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. What will be right side? I is identity matrix of so order N. Yes, sir. What will be right side? Right side is right now determinant of A into determinant A. Determinant A is a real number. Determinant A into I. What will be right side? Raksha? So the determinant only. Repeat, repeat. So the determinant only. Well, we go back to our result one, not one. Can you go back here? What is determinant of Ka? K raised to n. K raised to n determinant of A. Now tell me what is what is determinant of Ki? Determinant of Ki. Determinant of Ki will be K raised to n determinant I. Determinant of AI will be, determinant A is a constant. It will be determinant A raised to N into determinant of I because I is a square matrix of order N. Because of course, A is a square matrix of order N, I will naturally be a square matrix of order N. So it is determinant of A raised to N, not determinant of A. Okay, that completes because the result is here, determinant of Ka is K raised to N determinant of A. So it will be determinant there is N into determinant of I. Determinant of I is 1. And determinant of A into adjoint of A is determinant A into determinant of adjoint of A. One determinant A cancels and you have determinant of adjoint of A is determinant there is to N minus 1. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, fine. 
Okay, that is result four. Further, we have result five. Adjoint of Ka, which we have not seen, but you can keep in your mind. If A is a square matrix of order n, adjoint of Ka will be K raised to n minus one into adjoint of A. You can easily think of how it happens. I'm not going for the explanation that is simple. And further, adjoint of adjoint of A, it is determinant raised to n minus two into A. Keep in mind, adjoint of adjoint of A is determinant that is n minus two into I. All these results are already given in your booklet. You can go for it. And further, if A is non-singular of order n, adjoint of A raised to n is adjoint of A raised to n. If it is adjoint of A squared, it is a square of adjoint of A, and so on. It is valid for A inverse also. If A is non-singular, then adjoint of A inverse will be adjoint, the inverse of adjoint of A. If A is a non-singular square matrix, then adjoint of A inverse is adjoint of A inverse. Further, A is non-singular implies and implied by adjoint of A is also. A is singular implies and implied by adjoint of A is singular. Naturally, it is valid with non-singular points. A is symmetric implies and implied by adjoint of A is symmetric. A is a symmetric matrix, adjoint of A is also symmetric. Further, if A is a diagonal matrix, whose elements, diagonal elements are A1, A2, A3, A3, A3 A1, then A inverse exists conditionally. A inverse exists and A inverse is again a diagonal matrix. Elements are reciprocal of A1, A2, A3, A3, A1 by A1, 1 by A2, 1 by A3, 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 A3. Condition is that all the diagonal elements must be non zero. All AI, AI non zero for all. If A is a diagonal matrix, then A inverse is again a diagonal matrix. Elements are 1 by A1, 1 by A2, 1 by A3. Well, if a very important point, if AB is zero, where A and B are square matrices, we have seen earlier, it is not necessary matrix A or B must be zero. But if A and B are A and B are both non-zero, then A B will be zero only if both A and B are uh, both A and B are. Uh, I think, I think both A and B. Singular, singular. Both A and B are singular. Be careful about A B equal to zero. It may happen either A or B is zero. Suppose A or B are both A and B are non-zero, then both A and B must be singular matrix. You can think of a proof for this, not 12. If A B is zero. Either both A and B are one of them is a zero matrix, or both of them are singular matrix. It cannot happen that one is singular, other is non-singular, A B cannot be zero. One is singular, other is non-singular, A B cannot be zero, unless one of them is a zero matrix. Can you get this result very carefully? If the matrix A B is zero, we can conclude that either matrix A is zero or matrix B is zero, or both A and B are singular matrix. You can strive for a proof from your side, don't refer any book. If you don't get it, you can ask me how you get it, okay? Further, we need to go ahead. You can verify these questions, it looks very simple, but it takes a lot of steps. First of all, adjoin a fail was, you have to verify, this is verification, it is not a proof. Adjoint of A inverse will be the inverse of adjoint of A. To verify this, what we first find is that you need adjoint of A, you need determinant of A, right? You need, hence you can find A inverse, and after finding A inverse, you need the determinant of adjoint of A because we want the inverse of adjoint of A. 
So it takes a lot of steps, but somehow you have to do it. Adjoin of A inverse equal to adjoin of A inverse. And here again, because is it different? You have to verify that adjoin of AB is adjoin of B into adjoin of A. Looks very simple, but you need a lot of steps. Adjoin of AB. You have to find AB, find its adjoin. And adjoin of B and adjoin of A, multiply adjoin of B into adjoin of A. Further, AB inverse equal to B inverse A inverse. You have to find inverse of A, inverse of B, inverse of AB. You have a lot of questions you have to do. This is apart from the questions which is given in your booklet. Now, I end by this. We'll meet back tomorrow. Any question, please bring out. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. Hello. Any questions? No, getting sir. Getting along? Getting along? My no. Getting along? No. Yes, any sir. Doubts? Uh, any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, we'll meet back tomorrow. Now tell me.